I have played other MMOs. I've played World of Warcraft, Guild Wars, Guild Wars 2, Rift. I've played some other older MMOs that I forget their names of. Oh, I played Neverwinter as well. New World. Guild Wars 2 is one I've actually considered giving it a third final try. It's a game that I've given two final tries. I was like, okay, maybe I'll give it one more try. And then I, like a year or two later, I did that again. And now it's been a year or two again. I'm like, Maybe I could give it one more try because there are so many things about Guild Wars 2 that seem like they would be appealing to me, but there are a couple very, very big issues that keep me from liking the game. I think number one is the world. I've never been actually connected or found myself particularly liking the world. I haven't particularly disliked it, but I just haven't found myself like really liking the world as I do with Loto and even to an extent at least certain certain parts of the world and World of Warcraft. Oh, I've also played Final Fantasy XIV a little bit. That game is actually another one where I just I haven't been too connected to the world and story and the such. The other thing is the gameplay. It's just very boring to me. I don't know. I've heard that it's like better at high levels, but it's just such boring gameplay loop. And despite all that, those two like I think those are two really big components of a uh, MMO. I really am considering giving it a third final try. And the idea is that if, if this is another attempt at Guild Wars 2 that leaves me not wanting to play Guild Wars 2, that'll be like the third strike and then they're out for good. But we'll see. I don't even know if I'll ever get to that because I don't want to play it that bad. It's just I've been thinking specifically something about the warrior, whatever. What's their warrior called? Is it called warrior? I remember enjoying axes. Again, the gameplay got boring on them, but playing the warrior and like dual wielding axes, I think, was something I actually had fun with. And the mage, the elementalist, I think it's called, is the one that I also enjoyed, but I was so bored playing that the last time I tried Guild Wars 2. Like, I did a stream of it, if any of y'all were here for that. That would be quite amazing if you were. But I did the stream of Guild Wars 2, giving it one last try, and I was so bored during that stream, which is why I was like, okay, that's it, no more tries for Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2, though, it has, I think, a lot of end game related systems that I think I would really like that are in very big contrast to Lotro. Because as far as I, well, the level cap's not 20. That was Guild Wars. But as far as I know, the level cap is like the level cap and expansions don't raise it. And then you get whatever gear and the such. And it's like all generally similar powerful le power level. And then the end game is more focused on, at least rewards wise, cosmetics. There's like horizontal progression instead of vertical progression. Oh, true. Even at a level cap, even at like level 150, there's a lot of vertical progression in terms of item level. Like you start the expansion at item level 500, that's a little extreme. And then you go up to 549 at the end of the expansion. And that's one of the things that I feel like really was kind of, I don't know, I was getting tired of that with Gundabad. I really enjoyed level 130 end game, but I noticed that was something that detracted from the experience with 130. I don't think there's an easy solution to it though. So essentially one of the things that annoyed me with both of those, and I feel like detracts from some of the end game experience is the progression. Your character gets more powerful by getting this better gear. So that sense of progression is good, but it also means that when new content comes out, that means all the old content is suddenly irrelevant. There are other ways to mitigate it, and they do that somewhat in Lotro, I find, with things like being able to disenchant gear for Embers of Enchantment and having dailies and weeklies and the such, but as far as gear goes, new stuff is better because it's higher item level and has better stats. Uh, Delvings, their new system, the they had gear in at level 140. That started at like item level 470, but when the Return to Corn Doom Raid went up to tier 3 or when it was released or something like that, I wasn't really paying much attention then. The item level went up to like 480 or like 478. I don't think it was exactly 480 was the base. In fact, I have some of those pieces on this character. I have 470, 470, 471, and then yeah, 478 seemed to be the base. I do like that they have voice acting here. 
which I'm totally talking over. 